We're here to discuss briefly how quantum PAR meters work as compared to lux meters or light meters in general. And I'm sitting here with a spot on quantum PAR meter from Inquest. It's made in the United States in Chicago, Illinois. So the reason it's called a quantum PAR meter is it measures the quanta or total quantity of photons landing on the sensor at any given moment in time, which is the same exact amount of energy the plant leaves are getting if they're at the same level at that same moment in time. Another key differentiator between a quantum meter and a lux meter is that quantum meters will measure the light coming from the sun in the photosynthetic band, which is 400 to 700 nanometers. A lux meter does not do that. It just measures the general brightness coming from a light source. High quality quantum PAR meters like the spot on have the ability to account for what's called azimuth error. And this is light that is transmitted from the side, not directly above the sensor. The sun moves from one side of the sky to the other during the day. And grow lights do transmit light from different areas that bounce from one fixture to another. So the spot on can measure. So then exactly how do lux meters work? Lux meters measure what's called foot candles of light, which is just a measurement of total light brightness. It has nothing to do with the quantity of light that the plants are receiving, and it has zero to do with the wavelengths or colors of light that the plant is receiving, and it's not accounting for light coming from different angles in any way. And finally, a disadvantage of lux meters is that they're not sensitive to light outside the photosynthetic or visible range. So if your grow light can produce a bit of UV energy or far red energy, Lux can't help. A spot on par meter by Inquest.